I look better than some football kids. I ain't. I'm sorry. I look better than some NFL kids. I just got to keep it 100. I got to keep it real. It look better than some NFL field goals. Rockin' that Como, they gon' song bosses, cause we came from that. It's your boy Wanja Morris, and today we got rugby for beginners. So basically, I guess how rugby is played, like the actual rules of the game. Now I got, I think I got what two rugby videos on the channel, so this is gonna be the third one. And today we're learning how to play. Like we actually learning how to play. I think the the World Cup is coming up next month, right? Cause today August first, so it's September, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, we'll be getting to that too. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into the video. And also, y'all let me know what y'all want to see down below in the comment section. Rugby is one of England's most popular sports and is played by people of all ages, shapes and sizes, male and female. Okay. This animation teaches you about the main laws of rugby. Laws. So you can have more fun. Not rules, laws. Okay, let's go. Let's get it. Watching or playing this great game. You play rugby in a jersey, shorts, and boots with studs. Boots. And you wear a mouth guard to protect your teeth. Mm -hmm. The ball is an oval shape and looks a bit like an egg. Because rugby originated in England, there are a lot of English expressions. Mm. There are two versions of rugby. Two? Rugby Union and Rugby League. Oh, okay. This film is about Rugby Union. The most popular version of rugby mm. around the world. I never knew that. The rugby pitch is about the same size as a football pitch. On the pitch, there are a number of lines. We start from the halfway line. From this line, the game is started or we... So they call, it, they call it a field a pitch? I hope that's correct. They call it a foot. They call what we call a football field, they call it a pitch? I don't know. We started after a score. Next is the 10 meter line. After the kickoff, the ball must cross this line. Mm. Then there is the 22 meter line. 22. Next is the try line. Behind this line, you can score a try by touching the ball down. Mm. On the try line are the rugby posts, two vertical posts and a crossbar. The last line. It's not that far from like, truthfully like it's not. It's not that far off from football. Like, just the 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 lines. That's it. That would be that would be most confusing for me. But it's not really that that far off. Is the dead ball line and marks the end of the field. Out of bounds. On the sides, you find the five meters line and the fifteen meters oh, line. Oh, hold on. During a line out, the players must stay between these lines. Mm, okay. A game is two halves of forty minutes and has a half time break of about ten minutes. 40 the minutes. team has 15 players. Eight of them are called the forwards. These guys form the scrum and line out and do the more heavy work. Okay. Next, you have seven players called the backs, the backs. and they do most of the fast running. Mm. The scrum the fast half one. connects the forwards and the backs. Okay. The last man is the full back. So, out of all of these, out of all of these, who has the toughest job, in y'all opinion? Or is it all like a balanced thing? Like, is it balanced out? Or who has the toughest job in y'all opinion? The forwards, the fullback, the scrum, or the backs? Y'all let me know. You play rugby with your hands and feet. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, you carry the ball in your hands. Mm -hmm. But rugby is a team sport, so you pass the ball to your teammates. When you pass, you are only allowed to pass backwards. Okay. Mm. Backwards. That's new. You do this mainly by an underhand throw so across move. the body. Yeah. But if you wish to, you can pass overhand too. Mm. You may okay. pass as much as you want. If you decide to kick the ball, you may do so usually to gain territory. Playing backwards? Okay. Okay, okay. I was wondering why, in the other videos, I wonder. I'm like, why? I kept saying like, why do they keep throwing the ball backwards? But now it makes sense. That's the actual laws, not rules. But okay, that makes sense. Now it makes sense. Scoring points. Okay, there let's get into that. There are several ways to score points. The most important way is to score a try. 
A try? You score a try when you place the ball on the ground, on or behind the try line of your opposition. Mm. The result is five points. Five points. Because you scored a try, your team may also attempt to kick the ball from the ground, but it must carry between the posts and above the crossbar. A field goal. This is called a conversion. Conversion. It awards your team an extra two, two points. points. So together, you score seven points. Should the referee award you a penalty kick, your team can choose to restart the game, kick for a line out, or kick the ball between the posts. Restart the game? Hold on. Choose to restart the game, kick for a line out, or kick the ball between the posts. If you kick between the posts and score, you get three points. Ooh. You can also get points at any time during the game Just by like scoring football. a drop goal. When you intentionally drop the ball in front of you and kick it immediately after it hits the ground. A drop goal. As with a conversion and penalty, it must travel between the posts. This also wins your team three points. All right, we're rubbing for real, for real. No lie. So you can just take off and just kick it while you're running? Is that what you about to do? Oh, okay, no, never mind. Oh! Ooh! Right down the middle like that? All right with it. I look better than some football kids. Hey, I'm sorry. I look better than some NFL kids. I just got to keep it a hundred. I got to keep it real. It look better than some NFL field goals. Scrum. Suppose you throw the ball forwards or you drop the ball and it bounces forward. Mm. In both cases, the referee will decide that a scrum must be formed. A scrum is a restart after a foul where the ball travels forward. Oh yeah, the scrum. I remember that. That's when everybody we crowded together. I remember I was asking that and everybody was saying that's a scrum. From the hand. The forwards of both teams set in a specific formation and set against each other like you can see in this view from above. Next, the scrum half will roll the ball straight into the middle of the scrum, and both teams are allowed to contest for the ball by pushing and using their feet after the ball has entered the scrum That's to crazy. move the ball backwards. While the ball is in the scrum, you are not allowed to touch it with your hands. Mm. When the ball comes out of the scrum, it is usually the scrum half who will pass it to one of the waiting... Nah, that's fire, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You got a person set in the back to get the ball just in case. Like, you can't touch it while you're in the scrum. But the person behind you can touch it if you get on either side. I ain't gonna lie. I think that's what she was referring to. It was on fire. I ain't gonna front. I like this. While the ball is in the scrum, you are not allowed to touch I'll it with your with hands. It. When the ball comes out of the scrum, it is usually the scrum half who will pass it yes. to one of the waiting players. Okay. And the next attack will start. I rock with it. Yeah, yeah, that right there. Yeah, I rock with this. They look crazy like it. That's crazy. Line out. If the ball leaves the field of play because it's kicked out or because a player with the ball is tackled and falls across the touchline, mm. or the foot of a player who is holding the ball touches the touchline, <laughs> The game will be restarted with a line out. Out of bounds. To form a line out, the forwards of both teams will stand in separate lines between the 5 and 15 meter lines. Next, the ball will be thrown straight in between the two lines by the team in possession. The player who can jump the highest, and he may be lifted by his teammates, may catch Lift the ball it. or tap it to his scrum half. With this ball possession, they can start to attack again. Like a jump ball? This is a fire video. I love how they putting the examples and not just saying it, actually putting the visual together. This, I'm rocking with this video. I'm not even gonna front. Ooh, oh, they lifted them up. For real, for real. I'm rock with rugby, I ain't even gonna front. The unique tackle. thing about rugby is that you can stop players by tackling. Tackle you can be only crazy. tackle a player who is in possession of the ball. 
you're only allowed to use your hands, arms and body. You can grab the man with the ball everywhere except his neck and head. Yeah, you are not allowed to kick him or tackle him while he's in the air. Kick him. If you do, the referee will send you off the field immediately by issuing a yellow or red card. Oh. Okay. Cuz I remember I had this. Sorry for pausing, but I'm just I'm just realizing everything now. I remember I had did a rugby biggest hits video. And most people comments they were like uh, a lot of them hits are not like not they're illegal now like it's a red or yellow card like you'll be ejected. I was like red or yellow card. I'm like is that a flag? But now it start everything starting to add up. Okay, 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 okay. Send you off the field immediately by issuing a yellow or red card. The most common way to tackle is using the shoulder and arms, targeting an opposition player below the waist so he falls to the ground. Good tackle. Rock and roll. During the game, you will often see two situations. A ruck and maul. But what are these? Suppose a player carrying the ball makes contact with a player who wants to tackle him. But instead of falling on the ground, they keep standing up. Immediately, teammates of both teams will join this formation the to compete for the ball, which will be somewhere in the middle. Oh, this help formation him. is called a maul. A maul? The man with the ball will try to turn his back to his opponents and make the ball available for his teammates. If a maul takes too long, the referee will award a scrum in favour of the team <coughs> moving forward. Mm. Let me see. So if it takes too long, the award must scrum. Okay. A ruck is formed after the man with the ball is tackled and the players fall on the ground. During this situation, two very important rules come into play. The man who made the tackle must let go of the tackled player, and the man who is tackled must release the ball immediately. Mm. Players of both teams will bind as a unit with each other over the ball group and compete to win the ball with their feet and pushing back the opposing players. Got a ball, okay. Offside. There are several ways to be offside. One of the most common ways is during a maul, when players are competing to get possession of the ball or to stop them all being driven towards the try line. The offside line starts at the heel of the foot of the last person in the mall mm. and runs across the field from touchline to touchline. Mm. No one can enter the mall unless they do so from behind that player's foot. Respect. Though rugby is a physical and sometimes tough sport, a rugby player always respects his opponent and the referee. I agree. Whatever the referee decides, you will never contest it. That's how it should be in every sport. Every sport, the player, like the other player on the other team, everybody should always be respected, no matter how good they are, no matter how bad they are, because they still made it to be able to play that certain sport. That's how I feel, too. And the referee. And the referee. Whatever the referee decides, you will never contest their decision or risk being penalized. After every game, you pay your respects to your opponents and the referee by applauding them when they leave the field. I like that. Respect and sportsmanship are two of the most important values of rugby union. Yeah, see, that don't always happen like in American sports. Like, it ain't always like that. Like, people that lose a game, they'll, they'll get mad and they'll walk off and it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't a respect factor over here like that. Respect and sportsmanship American are sports. two of the most important values of rugby union. Hopefully, with this explanation, you will enjoy watching rugby even more. You are right with it. But if you are a boy or a girl and want to play rugby yourself, go to englandrugby.com and find a rugby club near you. It's possible to start playing rugby, whether you're five, fifty. Chat, should I start playing rugby? Y'all think I can make it in rugby? Do it like a rugby dude. I think I can make it in rugby. I think I can make it in rugby. I think so. Rugby club near you. 
It's possible to start playing rugby whether you're 5, 15, 25. Yeah, I think I should make. I think I should try for rugby. It's fun for all ages. Your local club will train you to become a rugby player. I think I can make so it. So you can play safe and ensure you enjoy this fantastic game. I think I can make it. Yeah, I rock rugby for real, for real. On the real. All right, y'all. That's it for the video. Great breakdown. Great, um, helpful, helpful video. Especially with adding, saying, what's, what, saying the rules and then putting the visuals in and putting the video. Actual references, actual breakdown, and depth breakdown. I really, really rock with this. And I rock with rugby for real, for real. Like I said, I think the World Cup is next month. So we definitely going to get into that on the channel. Uh, y'all let me know how y'all feel about rugby. Who's y'all favorite rugby player? Y'all favorite team? What what do y'all like most about rugby? What do y'all like most about the sport? Anything. Favorite jersey? Favorite anything. It's your boy, Juan Jamores. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hope y'all had a great day. And I'm out. Peace. Yeah,